Well, hello, Jeff. Um, looking yeah. forward to learning about your business today, the pressure sure. washing business. So, how long have you been in, in power washing? Power washing, probably 20 years. Started off um, branching out from the JP's carpet cleaning, different services, uh, which we've been doing 36 years, which includes uh, carpet cleaning, air deck cleaning, uh, furniture, ceramic tile. Branched off into power washing, which is JP's power washing pros. So, 20 years on the power washing, 36. So, what sets you apart from other power washing companies? What do you guys do that's maybe a little different? Well, the passion is uh, the thing that uh, component that drives anybody to be good at anything. The equipment we have, the constant upgrades of equipment, the knowledge. The desire to do a good job, that's what sets us apart. And you can tell um, upon talking to me or if you get a bid in person, especially when we start cleaning, that you know what we're doing and very passionate. That's what sets us apart. Tell me about the pricing structure. How do you estimate a job, a square foot or what? Um, power washing. Normally the square footage, especially for large commercial jobs, I would have to come out and measure that in person. Um, a homeowner, I can give you a range depending on what part of the city you live in. Uh, it's a full car driveway, a circle driveway. You have an area by a pool. Uh, soft washing, how many square feet your house, how many stories. It's pretty basic. Um, then we branch up from there if I need to ask you more questions. So since you've been doing this a long time, do you have any other partnerships with other businesses or affiliations with uh, Different businesses uh, outside of mine, no. We started off JP's carpet cleaning 36 years ago, which does carpet cleaning, air deck cleaning, furniture, ceramic tile. Uh, the power washing, sometimes we have to extract excess water, especially from large commercial jobs, parking lots. The same can be on your driveway or if you have an area by a pool and you don't want the dirty water going into your pool. We use our uh, truck mounts on our vans, machines to extract. So businesses like that, uh, outside of mine, no. The dry ice blasting, Casey dry ice blasting, sometimes power washing uh, commercial properties has been enough. And the dry ice blasting would be uh, a sufficient use. But it is um, only because it's no secondary cleanup. So inside would be uh, one of the scenarios in a factory, in a business where you can't use water. Outside, you can pretty much use the water on everything that I've seen. So if you get a call by an interested party, whether it's commercial or residential, yeah. Um, what are the things that they really should ask you? What do they need to, to know that you're going to be able to do yeah. for them? A lot of questions on how do you protect our property. If it's a house, they're worried about the grass, they're worried about the plants. Uh, of course, we water down everything first. Uh, so the plants and the grass, grass cannot absorb the chemicals as well. So we rinse the electric outlets, uh, rain doorbells, camera systems. Um, we cover with plastic or tape off. Commercial, it's the same thing, but just a larger scale. And as far as a water source, how do you get water? Do you hook up to our water? Do you bring your own water? And what kind of chemicals are you 